Fox News is about to axe Bill O'Reilly, proving once again that if you're a male in power, it'll take about 20 years for you to be fired for sexual misconduct. Or you could just become president. North Korea recently held celebrations in commemoration of Kim Jong-un's grandfather by showing a video that simulated a missile attack completely decimating the United States. But it was set to a lovely orchestral piece complete with trumpets, so I'm sure it's a joke and everything's going to be just fine. Speaking of nuclear war, the Trump administration released a statement saying that while Iran has been in compliance of the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, they will be reviewing the sanctions portion because they claim that Iran is a sponsor of terrorism. Well, if we get a bomb dropped on us, at least criticism of Trump will cease to exist, along with the rest of humanity. Meanwhile, in Syria, a suicide bomber killed 126 people, including 86 children. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm being told that nobody cares. Meanwhile, the trending story on Fox News is that supermodel Kate Upton was photographed in the Turks and Caicos with her fiancé.